Um, oh, I get a new champion pick? Yeah, let's see. I'm not taking Lucian Senna. Sorry. Although back-to-back -back is f savage. Lucian just doesn't matter. Uh, Karma is really good. Glendale Elder is not good. Glendale Elder might just be good for a hand buff now. And Shadow Assassin is an elusive uh, character that replaces itself. This is one of my favorite characters in the game. Oh, Silverwind Vanguard is a 4 mana that makes 2 ones. But if I buff them in hand, then it's bigger. I don't really have a lot to go on on that. I have enough of you. I I'm going to go here. I'm going to trust that Karma is actually Savage. I don't need to go into another color or faction. Let's see how this game works. The elevator boss has arrived. I'm not sure if we can defeat this, His Majesty. Or if I froze at 22, or if it's loading me into a game. I just don't know. I'll clip it. If it's any longer than this, I'll just clip it. Sorry, guys. Alright. So, uh, apparently it put me back here and allows me to trade. There was kind of errors, but it's a beta, so gotta deal with it. Shadow Shift is great. Will of Ionia is f phenomenal, though. I don't know if I want to trade these two. Save, a, save an entire creature or f*** you, Tempo. I like f*** you, Tempo, a lot. Give two allies. It's an instant versus this garbage card, but this garbage card did work for me. I, I can't... And this is a 2-2 defender versus a 3-2 that untempos? No, we're not taking untempo under any circumstances. I don't have any answer to the battlefield effects or anything. Um, so if I have to trade one of these two, I don't have to trade anything, but if I am going to trade, I'm probably going to try to take the get trade. So I'll take the get trade and call it. Uh, call it careful. If you lose your next game, your trial will end. Okay, well then I just won't lose my next game, right? Masia Noxus. All right. Well, you are not cards that will help me win in the early game, so I don't need you. You are all cards that will help me in the early game. It's unfortunate I don't have one of my like two or three one drops, but I'll live. I'll pass. If he he has to play something, and I will respond by playing Vanguard Defender. Like every time. End round. Uh, we're going to chip in the two damage before he has a chance to do anything. Then we're going to summon Vanguard Elite. We just want this guy to be two mana, one mana, zero mana. And if I'm paying three for something, oh, that's rough. Uh, I'll play this. Oof. That's it. What else you got? You have to have a spell, or it doesn't matter. End around. This guy doesn't really represent too much of a threat to me. And there's the upside of... If he has no idea how tough works, and he tries to take this guy out, he gets wamboed in one turn. Uh, okay, so this is the card I passed on. And... That's a lot of challenger. I think... I think it's right to do this and save this up to do some kind of clever trick and take him out of the game. But I don't know if I want to do that early or not. We'll see. We'll see what he chooses. Like, he he now... Oh, oh you have lost. Oh, no. Maybe there's a buff here. Maybe he's going to give everyone plus one, plus one. 
Oh, he, he figured it out? That he's not attacking? Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, that's fine. Now, he might have a deal one damage to everything spell. No, I'm good. All right, again, same rules apply. We're just gonna shove. He's gonna, if he's smart, he'll take a trade here or just eat, I'm at eight, seven damage. Yeah, he'll take the trade here, no problems. I'm not gonna let that happen. Give an allied barrier this round. All right, well. Let's see, he's casting a lot of spells. I might just let this happen. All right, so he's trying to kill both of those guys. All right, so I will choose the one he's targeting first to trick the barrier. Just to, like, I'm, I'm basically three for one I think. Um, and now his barrier is gonna do it. He saves all damage, but he spent three, three spells to do it, and he's completely tapped out, and I get to do my literal favorite thing in the world. <laughs> Swam a 5-5 tough life steal on the, on the board. Like, I'm so far ahead right now um, that it's it's gonna it's my game to lose at this point. All I have to do is keep pressuring with garbage cards. I have a, a slight refill with a guaranteed chip damage card here. <laughs> I have uh, a 5-4 four. 4-1 four, challenger. Discard a spell to grant me health equal to its cost. That's a big health character. Um, cost one less for each ally that died this round. Summon a random five drop. I don't... Alright, let's, let's just cycle. He passed. Yeah, I'm gonna keep putting stuff on. I want you to attack. Like, my game plan is for you to attack. Hopefully he rips... Oh. That was not the correct choice. Maybe this one? No, it's fine. Like, it wasn't gonna do anything, but I, I just needed to chip a little bit off of his health. Uh... Do I need three mana going into next turn to have nine? Let me do math. Remembrance I can't cast yet. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get a little chip damage out on the board. He has nothing left to do. He's out of mana. He's pretty whomped. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just trying to think if there's any reason to play pre-combat or if I'm supposed to shove and do at least five, six, seven, eight... 9, 10 damage. I think I'm just going to get 10 damage in here. And, uh... Is this a burst spell? This is a burst spell. Alright. Alright, yeah. So... Oh, that's weird. That's so weird. Yeah, okay. Well, either way, I'm going to do something stupid to him. It's just... I don't know why he thinks putting three damage on this guy is worth that. Huh. Okay. Either way, like, if he blocked anything else, I'm just doing this to it. What is this? An ally fights me? Oh, yeah. Okay. We'll do that. He might have done the thing I said when I was drafting earlier. He might have been like, look at all these combat tricks, but doesn't really have a board to justify the combat tricks. Combat tricks are great. You don't want to have too many of them. You need to have a board presence in order to have combat trick spells. Uh, and I was able to one for one his combat trick, not only nullifying it completely, but also guaranteeing I'm getting three extra damage in, putting an extra three damage on this guy. Like, it, it was a rough play. 
this wasn't one of those and a lot of people tend to say like we'll make them have it this is it's too early to make them have it this is a very rough strategy this guy is great i'd like to know what card he discarded to give him that much defense but yeah all right so you did nothing now he's at one uh there are multiple ways i can to beat him and it's going to be yeah you're dead here check this out uh, we're gonna do that we're gonna end turn uh, I'm not gonna need to. I'm probably not gonna need to play both. The, oh no, this is bad for him. I didn't. Oh, it's his turn. Oh. Huh. Uh. First, this is a fast spell. This is a slow spell. This is how I'm gonna do next turn. Yeah, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with you playing this random guy. And hopefully targeting him. By the end of turn, I'm probably going to cast this on principle. Um, if he spends another spell in his hand, my opening turn is going to be for Demacia. Full swing. Crush. But I have this Shadow Shift to uh, prevent him from getting too much value out of this. He's probably going to want to take out, you know... This guy, if I had to assume. Barrier. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, he's going to barrier up and he's going to attempt to do that. So, let's pass. Keep it going. Oh, that's weird. Why would you choose that? What does this do? 3 1 and Overwhelm for the turn. Interesting. Uh, okay. Well, uh, I don't need him alive. And I could take a cheap block here. And then we can Shadow Strike this. Yeah. So now he has no cards left. And I'm going to play that big dumb idiot again. I was going to play this, but, you know, I guarantee that being a good card is relevant. Uh, I want to force that bump, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that card ain't anything. So... Oh, I might have been wrong. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. It... That, that's fine. When I'm summoned, draw an ally if the unit died this round. I will play literally everything I can. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just give me it all. Give me everything. Uh, I will save that one mana for next turn. I don't know if there's a difference between, like, 11 and 10 for me, but... Yeah. Yeah, this is over. For Demacia, you should totally do that. Like, he's probably wondering if he's supposed to four Demacia and push here. Um, and I will literally do nothing if he does that. I will just, like, throw this nerd in front of him and take six. Or, or if he's trying to figure out where the concede button is, it's usually, like, right here. Top right. In Hearthstone, it was bottom right. In, in Arena, I believe it's top left. But, yeah. Get, I... Being familiar with where Surrender Button is is going to save you a lot of time when you're playing these kind of games. Yep. 
Yeah, there it is. You did it, bro. I'm okay with that. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's cast this twice. Oh. Alright, well, those are the first two games. I obviously will have the rest of these, but I figure this video just needs to give you an introduction to, like, my draft, my strategy behind my draft, and how to play the draft. Uh, hopefully more of them will be available to you. Uh, sure, but I'll, I'll finish this run up. You'll be able to see how I did uh, in the next video. But, you know, in the meantime, good luck. Thanks for watching.